I was astound, uh, astounded at his dash lack of knowledge about the continent of Africa. Okay, now the question is, uh, the word lack of seems inappropriate. Why would some one okay someone be astonished for lack of knowledge? He's astonished at not for astonished at okay he is astounded at his lack of knowledge okay so yes it can be the case why can't people be astonished by the lack of someone's knowledge okay now we are talking about a, what are we talking about why should it be Should it be abundant lack of knowledge? What is the meaning of abundant? Something that is plentiful. Alright, colossal on the other hand means something that is extremely large. Okay, something that is extremely large, it can mean amount. Huge, you know, great, you know, okay. Now, all these words are very similar to each other. So, which one would be the right answer? Now, I was astonished at the extremely large amount of lack of knowledge. Okay, so it is, it should be colossal. Not huge, not great, not abundant. So, why should it be colossal? Because it talks about how extremely... Uh, large amount of knowledge is lacking in that person about Africa okay so that is surprising to him so this is used as an oxymoron okay uh, extremely large amount of something that is not there okay so it should be colossal so I was astounded at his colossal lack of knowledge about the continent of Africa okay the envelope at least in part is formed at the end cell division by dash fragments of the endoplasmic reticulum. The, in the envelope or envelope, the envelope at least, at least in part is formed at the end cell division by dash fragments of endoplasmic reticulum just for your knowledge i will just tell you what it means i'm sure you must have read it in biology it's something like this it i don't know i don't remember clearly but it is okay uh, it is a network of membranous tubules within the cytoplasm of a there were two types of cell uh, if you remember eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells so these are find, found in eukaryotic cells continues with the new it is always followed by a uh, it is at, attached to a ribbon like i said involved of protein and lipid synthesis all right okay so this is the mean, meaning of endoplasmic reticulum which is not very essential forget what it what this means all right now tell me why it should be which are the options that you think would suit it all right so now first before you uh, come to a conclusion what should be the answer let me tell you there are two answers that would fit okay so two options that would fit the answer so two of them are suitable for this option okay now before you get to the question I'll show you the question once again but before you get to the question understand what is it doing okay what is uh, uh, what is happening uh, the envelope that we are talking about in parts is it is it coming together or is it, or is it uh, degrading or is it scattering okay so uh, tell me that first okay is it something that is forming together or is it something that is scattering away or diverging or degrading or something like that so um, tell me that first look at the statement the envelope at least in part is formed at the end of cell division okay so 
look at the word if you carefully examine the statement it un you can understand that it is talking about formation okay so things are coming together to form something right it is the arrow is not outwards right something is coming together to form a membrane right so fragments of endoplasmic uh, reticulum what are they doing they're joining to form something right joining to form the the envelope these fragments are joining to form the envelope okay and now so we will we are looking at words which are more of the more on the end of coming together all right we are looking for words like that uniting all right so let's look at the words now i will explain the meaning of each of the word now remember all these words are in ing form so they are all verbs right all of them are verbs so what is amalgamate or amalgamating amalgamate it means combine or unite okay amalgamate or amalgamating so you can use it in or amalgamated in any of the verb forms right so combine or unite to form one organization okay so the synonyms for this word can be um, combine fuse merge so all this is now dispersing i'm sure all of you know dispersing has something to do with scattering right distribute or spread distribute or spread that is the meaning of this so one we have got yes amalgamate means combine or unite so we are looking for something that is combining or uniting so a is suitable b is definitely not suitable because it is talking about uh, distributing or dissipating or moving away what is residing rescind what is the meaning of rescind it means cancel in layman's term it means cancel okay it means revoke or cancel so this is also not talking about forming something or repel any of these okay now what is coalescing or coalesce it means come together again we are dealing with something that comes together come together to form oh, it can form something of a whole uh, a mass or whole okay so that is the meaning of coalescing and disintegrating as you already know something that breaks down uh, something that breaks up into small parts right so the synonyms for this can be fragment scatter and things like that so two is uh, so e is not the right answer d is not the right answer so we are left with two things oh sorry not d is one of the right answers c is not the right answer we are left with two words that talk about combine and unite or come together or fuse to form a whole mass or an organization so the right answer for this would be a and d did you get it so a and d both talk about coming together and uniting uh, the question Uh, so we we'll, uh, these type of questions you have to first understand the meaning or the context in which they are talking about and then look for words that resemble the context okay so, so it is very evident from the from the options of course if you if you know the words it is very evident from the options that you have to find something that comes together and not scatter away all right so the right answer for this one would be amalgamate and coalesce coalescing amalgamating and coalescing all right can you make a statement with amalgamate or coalesce for me because i've given you the meaning you just need to make a statement so i'm sure dispersing and disintegrating you knew these words already both this this it means definitely it means something to uh okay we'll get to that as well all right uh, so 
disintegrate, disperse, we know that it means uh, scattering away, all right? So, uh, make a statement with amalgamate or uh, remember to use it as a verb because these are verbs, amalgamate and coalesce. Use it in a statement and let me know. Okay, so if she dash her hairstyle, she dash pretty. Okay, now what options do we have if she, uh, we are talking about changing of course. Uh, this is very evident that we, uh, the confusion is between one and two. Okay, let's see one option one and two. If she changed her hairstyle, she might look pretty or if she did change okay there is nothing called as did change okay because we are already using one past form of verb so in that case it should have been did change okay and not did change so ed is not something that should have been there so option two is not apt at all okay even if it did uh, it fits the second half fits the first half doesn't okay so if she changed if condition we are talking about again if she changed her hairstyle she might look pretty okay she might look pretty as in there is a possibility that she will look pretty so the answer is option one yes and today we will be discussing uh, uh, auxiliary verbs like might may all these auxiliary verbs we will be discussing today and could and can as well all right from the given option, choose the pair that fits the blank to complete the sentence appropriately. Now, this question had a problem and we did discuss it. Like the Supreme Court of US, making this process work by circulation and without oral hearing needs to be... So, uh, the two options will uh, fit, okay? And two won't, okay? So, needs to be... It cannot be steadily, it cannot be, okay, we are talking about something that needs to fit completely, right? So, it has to fit fully, right? And it has to fit, uh, I am sure that you guys remember we discussed this question. So, what, there's a word missing over here, I think we discussed that as well. So, which are the two options, forget that I did this. Which are the two options that you think would uh, be appropriate for this blank? Because we are supposed to choose a combination of two. Three, okay, strongly. Circulation with oral hearing needs to be, okay, like the Supreme Court of US, making this process work by cir circulation and without oral hearing, we are trying to make a process work, okay, needs to be, and how does the process has to work? It has to work how? It has to work fully, right? And it has to work strongly. Yes, B and C is the right answer, okay? It, not actively and steadily, okay? Because it has to either fully work it or it has to strongly work, okay? 